Hey, you guys, like the sloth thing? That is exactly right. Seriously? Yeah. That's funny, dude. <laughs> when they started it in 2010, hey, you that guys. was the, the camera That's on. Funny. Good, yeah. Yes, we got you say it, you guys. I love it. Yeah, well, I'll be your commercial. Please do, yeah. We'll give you a commercial. Uh, congratulations on the film. Thanks, man. Um, you've worked with Denny three times now. Um, I feel like you've had your Casablanca moment of start of a beautiful friendship when you did Sicario. Now you've done three films together. What keeps drawing you back to to, to him and his and his visions? I just think a standard that he creates is. Um one that I like to try and live up to, and there's always a little bit of fear that you're not gonna live up to it. That's aside from our friendship, so there's that little professional thing that, that, that comes up once in a, a while where he's looking at me and he's like, you know, be better, basically. It doesn't happen often, <laughs> he trusts me, and he, he casts me, I think, appropriately, where I don't think he would cast me if he didn't feel like I could do it. And I like challenging myself, so I think I put enough pressure on myself. But I think Denis is a supremely uh, good director. I think he's rare. Yeah. I remember watching the David Lynch version when I was like three or four years old and thinking it was amazing. But then reading the book and June's like this big and there's yeah, so much huge. on. The fact that he's done this as two movies, he's been able to explore so much of the themes and everything else. Do you think that was the, like, the best decision? Yeah, because it could, have, it could have gone a different way quite oh, it could have done, Yeah, but I think he demanded, he said, I mean, Legendary was so great and then wanting to do it, but he said, I, I, don't, I, I don't know how this went exactly, but I think it went, like, I don't think it's worth doing if we try to fit it into one movie. And they agreed, smartly so. Um, so you didn't have to crunch time it or cut things out that were essential that you couldn't have, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's great that it's in, in two parts. It's not a sequel, it's just the rest of the book. And you get so much in this second movie because the first movie is like an introductory movie. Mm. Even though you're experiencing all these things and it still feels intimate and all that, to me, this just ramps it up yeah. 10 times. This character as well, when he's fascinated in the, in the book, you know, there's so much about him and his history with the, with the Atreides and all that kind of stuff. Did you see in him things that you hadn't done before, even though I know you've done the physical stuff before and yeah. stuff like Thanos, that there was different things to this that maybe you hadn't played before? Yeah, but there were also parts of my own personality that I wanted to exploit. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and, and undeniably so. And you could, I could only do that as a little bit older guy who was more comfortable in my own skin. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and actually playing a mentor and actually believing it of sort, you know what I mean? And not just, it's like when you wear clothes that you don't feel comfortable in when you're doing interviews. I, I feel comfortable in these, but I've done interviews and they were like, what if we do a sweater? <laughs> and I sit here and I don't feel myself. Yeah. But there was something that kind of allowed me to accept myself more in playing Gurney. Yeah, I love uh, seeing you and Javier uh, re-team because last time you were on screen together outside of June, it yeah. was a very different relationship. But you guys seem to be really good friends. There's a great scene of you two just talking in yeah. this film. That's just, I mean, you must have such a, a great relationship with him because on screen, it feels we like We do, you two but are it friends. feels weird on screen. You know, some people are really comfortable. I mean, he's done a couple of movies with his wife and I'm like, how do you do that? Yeah. How do you go home and be that, pr and then go in front, you know what I mean? So I was a little nervous with the idea of doing, even though he, we were on like opposite ends of whatever, where we were sitting, you know, in the frame. Um, but it was easy. It was super easy with him. Yeah. I mean, he's one of my favorite human beings. So yeah. doing anything with him and being able to get to hang out with him on any level is always fun. Yeah, I'd be remiss in my duty talking to you from Hey You Guys without mentioning the Goonies. Mm. In terms of the Goonies, is there anyone in this cast particularly that if you went, if they were in available, would you? Is there any of them that you would invite to be a Goonie? Any of this cast that you would invite to be part <laughs> of that? Because there's a few of them I think could do a good job, and a few of them maybe wouldn't be. As okay, well. who do you think would do a good job? I think Florence would be a good Goonie if she, if she were younger. Just without age being a okay, being a, a big factor. issue. Who wouldn't? Stellan, maybe. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> maybe Stella, so. Stellan would not be a good Goonie. Yeah, I think Florence. Florence is good, yeah. Think of Timothy, think of... No, those are more people that like you could see in Mickey Mouse Club. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a difference. difference. There's, a big, there's a big gap between the Mickey Mouse Club and the Goonies. Yeah. 
Goonies are way cooler. Indeed. And next year you've got the... Unless you're four, Ryan four Gosling. Years? Is it, unless you're Ryan Gosling, you can do anything, right? Cool. Uh, next year you've got the anniversary as well. Yeah, 40? Years, next years. Uh, it's actually 40 years this, this year. year. Because we filmed it in 1984. Yeah. So I've been in this industry now for 40 years. How does that sit with you? Obviously, I know. I'm not we've, sure. We've, yeah. lost, we've lost Dick Donner along the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and stuff. John Matuzak. Yeah, John exactly. Matuzak. Yeah. And Anne Ramsey. A few of them have gone yeah. now, which is, which yeah. is sad. But the, the legacy still lives on even now. Very people much show so. it to their, People show it to their kids. Their kids then show it to their kids. Did, yeah. you, you couldn't have dreamed that that would be No, man. Like that. No, especially because I had no experience. Mm. So I didn't know that that's what movies did. I know that that's what movies did for me, but I didn't realize you could be in a movie that would do that for somebody else. Yeah. Goonies is, is not only one of the greatest experiences of my life, but the fact that I get to see people. You know, now I've done enough movies where you get off, there was a, an experience where I got off a plane and somebody had seen Only the Brave, and he mm. was a firefighter. He was all jacked up and he had tattoos and he had tears running down his eyes. He said, thank you, thank you so much. So that's the kind of impact. But I get to see that with Goonies over a 40-year period, plus some, you know, if we continue. Yeah. Um, there's nothing that makes me happier. It's yeah. one of my all-time favorites, I have to say. Love well, you started a thing. You yeah, know, there we hey go. You guys, so <laughs> you don't even have to tell me that. <laughs> uh, such a pleasure to talk to Thanks, you. Thanks, man. You really too. Well. Thank you so much. Yeah. Pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey, you guys. Hey, hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys.